escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. And today's video blog post is really inspired by this big question. How do we live happier, healthier, and more meaningful lives sooner than later? I'm Lydia Lee, the corporate escape coach at Screw the Cubicle. Uh, and this is one of the big questions that a lot of my clients and even myself included when I was escaping the cubicle many moons ago um, of how can we not wait until the age of retirement? What we're told at 65 years old is sort of when we can have the financial freedom, the lifestyle freedom and the autonomy that we really, really want in our lives. Now, it's not easy to stop keeping up with the Joneses, right? Because in society, we've been told that buying that house, having more things and making more money equals a successful, happy life. But maybe if you're like me, you're starting to question that status quo. So today I want to talk about a concept, something that really changed my own, my own personal life from the day that I decided to quit my job to a big practice that I include and adopt in my current lifestyle choices right now. And this is about the practice and the principles of minimalism. Now, before you turn that video off and go, holy shit, she's going to tell me to be some hippie living in a hut or a tree somewhere in the jungle. Uh, just let, let, give me a second to tell you a little bit about these principles that actually may not have you throwing away all the things that you think you like to have in your life, but actually just to be a bit more conscious in the way that you might decide on what you value and what's important in your life. Let me tell you what I mean. So what is a minimalistic lifestyle? So like I said, you don't have to be a hippie or the next Marie Kondo, right? To have a minimalistic lifestyle. What you have to do is to understand what you're consciously spending your money on, how you're consuming uh, in your life and making sure that things that you have and you value to buy with your hard earned cash is something that is leading you to a life experience that you want to have. So um, a really great definition of minimalism is by the two guys I follow uh, that have a great podcast called The Minimalists. And this is Josh and Ryan uh, from that podcast. And they define it as uh, saying minimalism is a tool to rid yourself of life's access in favor of focusing on what's important so that you can find happiness, fulfillment, and freedom. So whatever your goal may be, it could be quitting your job and starting a business and making sure you have the financial um, support to do that right? Or um, saving money to travel the world and live nomadically uh, or saving up for starting a family. You do need to have money, right? And the power of money to leverage in order to achieve those goals. Now, the scary statistic is that about, I think, 54% of Americans uh, spend more than they make, which is crazy and also a reality. Because when I remembered uh, my own lifestyle of spending, I'm the girl that uses pay bills online, covering that total uh, in my bank account, not wanting to own up or be accountable to my own financial game, which got me into debt. It got me into a place where I probably wanted to do a lot of things like quit my job a lot earlier than I anticipated, uh, but wasn't able to do so because I didn't have a great financial backing to support those goals. So one of the things that we uh, that I have learned uh, from the days of quitting my own six figure job many, many years ago to even living a lifestyle of what I'm doing right now, living in Bali, right, um, having a much more simpler lifestyle is really allowed me to have more opportunities to open the door up to bigger realities, better possibilities uh, where I'm not paying a majority of my salary, my earning potential towards things like mortgages, right? Uh, big rent payments. It's no surprise I've moved over to Bali um, and build a financial security, right? A financial cushion pot for myself, for my own pension. Maybe I want to retire early, but all of those things I really had to take on as my responsibility and really learn how to do this. Now, the first step of adopting a minimalistic lifestyle is first of all, simplifying your life, right? That decluttering of things you no longer need and maybe even selling some of those things, right? So that you can save that money and budget for a life experience that you really want to have. Now I was just listening to, um, uh, Grant Sebastian, which is the author of financial freedom, which is a great book to pick up. I'm picking that up to read very, very soon. And he was on the unmistakable creative podcast with Srini Rao. 
also an excellent influencer I follow. Uh, and he says, you know, uh, something along the lines of like, every dollar I save today buys me my freedom of time in the future. But we sort of need to know what we're going to be utilizing that freedom of time for. Right? For me, it's about not wanting to work 40 hours a week so that I can actually raise a family and be there for my family when I have one. Um, and so learning to not be attached to possessions and assets really allows me to be mobile and allows me to be free to then fill my life with things that really matter. So I want to share with you some of the things that I did to build financial security for myself, but also declutter my life and save up money for my escape plan. And it's very, very simple. So the first thing I did when I was quitting my job and saving up money was questioning for every purchase that I would spend shopping, right? It's not to say not to shop, but when I did shop and when I did buy things, I would ask myself this question, is this purchase or this investment I'm about to make uh, helping me get to this life experience that I want to have? And it should be a distinct yes or no. If it just feels like a luxurious thing to do right now, not a, not a need to have, but a nice to have, is something that I would then take a pause on, right? But if it was something that um, I wanted to invest in, like a coach or my therapist to help me feel better, right, about what I'm about to do, right, as a big goal, this might be something worthwhile and valuable for me to spend on. I also did a whole 90 days of decluttering my life, which is to go around my house and take stock of all the things that I actually was using on a daily basis and things that just was left there gathering dust, like the two printers I ended up selling and a bunch of clothes that I no longer needed because I was actually transitioning out of the cubicle at the time and actually having a garage sale every single weekend, posted it up on Craigslist, posted it up on my Facebook and I had a complete open house, put price tags on everything and made about $6,500 around that to be able to use that money to fund my own escape plan. So maybe there's something that you can do to start simplifying your life and thinking consciously about what you own, right? What you're willing to spend on is something you can do just like I did. Maybe not next 90 days, but maybe the next 30 days to hold a little open house garage sale in your house and be um, blessed with some of that money being saved for whatever your goals may be. So if you're looking for creative ways to own your money, save some money, right? Budget for your escape plan. Use some of my ideas on how I gained some money to um, be able to save up for feeling safe to take my own leap. Um, I'm going to provide you with a free workbook that you can gain some of these ideas and start planning out um, ways to simplify your life with money. Uh, and that's called Own Your Money Workbook. And you'll be able to download it just right underneath this video post uh, and ha get that started for yourself and feel better about the financial cushion that you can reserve for your escape plan. So when you can declutter your life, simplify your life, and think consciously about what you're consuming and what you own in your life, uh, you're going to have less stuff. And less stuff means you have more mobility. And perhaps more mobility could also mean that you could have more freedom. So one of the things that um, I've adopted as part of my minimalistic lifestyle choices as well is the art of um, being location independent or uh, geo arbitrage, uh, which is another term that uh, people have used or have researched online. Now, the idea of um, having a location independent life is not being attached to uh, particular expensive cities. You know, I'm from Vancouver originally. It's one of the most expensive cities in the world to live in, which was costing me quite a lot of money every single month to be able to fund my very basic lifestyle in the city. So one of the things that I experimented with was taking off six months after I quit my job, when I settled in on my consulting work, settled in on a freelance project, I decided to take six months off and actually go explore Southeast Asia, right? It was just an idea to sort of go, what would it feel like to live somewhere different? Now, what are the benefits of living abroad and living in a different city uh, than the one that you're living in? Right? Rethinking where you're living can really help you to, again, gain time and space. If you don't have to work as hard right, in maintaining a particular income just to pay rent or a mortgage or an expensive cost in an expensive city, you will have a lot more time and space to actually launch a business in a sustainable way. Uh, to take on clients that you actually really like instead of things that people that you may not want to work with just in order to pay the bills. 
ultimately, it just creates a lot more freedom when you don't have to have high cost of living. So if you go to a website called nomadlist.io, I'll provide the link if you're on my video blog page. Uh, and this is a place that I started in as well to think about cities, to look up cities uh, that can give me um, a better quality of life, uh, that has resources and um, spaces and people and communities that uh, were um, already structured for people like digital nomads, uh, remote workers or nomadic families. There are so many places out there like that that I would encourage you to just research and maybe take a 90 day sabbatical uh, or your next vacation to go and check out some of these places in order to learn more about how you can cut your cost of living. Now, one of the things uh, that I've really benefited from uh, is to continue to earn a living in US dollars, to live on rupias, which is the Balinese currency uh, in Bali, uh, or Indonesian currency, I should say, and to be able to outsource and build small teams with contractors and teams uh, in places like the Philippines, right? Where um, I could actually build a team a lot faster because the, the lower cost of um, the outsource fees, right? And again, having a remote team, having a remote business has allowed me to keep more of my hard earned money that I'm making every month in order to put money aside for my pension, for investments in my business, right? For personal lifestyle choices that I really, really want to have. So take a chance in taking a look at some of these research spaces. And again, if you're in my video blog page, I'm going to give you some of my top five cities that I visited that you can uh, start experimenting with as potentially your next um, location that can help you uh, have a higher quality of life with a lot less cost. So I hope some of this insight in this video has encouraged you uh, to think about minimalism as a way of living, right? Of decluttering whatever it is that feels heavy in your life. And sometimes that is a full-time job. Sometimes that is owning a bunch of stuff. And have a think about what are the life experiences that we really want to have and how can we um, take a look at our possessions, our choices, um, how we make the money that we're making today um, that is either leading us to a lifestyle that we want to have or we do not want to have. So if you have any questions about how you can start doing this today for yourself, uh, I would love for you to jump onto the video blog post directly on my, uh, on my website uh, and shoot me a comment. What part of uh, minimalism, the practices of simplifying your life or the idea of being location independent as a minimalistic way of life um, really resonated with you today. And how can I help you get started with that journey for yourself? Now, I've got a tons of free resources over at my website. But again, if you comment and reply to me, I will personally pick the right free resources that you can start with and reply to you personally so that I can support your journey of screwing the cubicle. Thank you so very much for joining me today for this video blog, and I'll see you in the next one. Have you been desiring to create a life and career that gives you the freedom that you deserve, but you're not quite sure where to start? Well, let me be the guide to help you quit that job that's crushing your soul, discover your strengths, and make money doing something that you love and will care about. Head over to screwthecubicle.com to find tools and resources I've created just for you to help you jumpstart your escape plan from your nine to five and launch a business you can run from anywhere.